rush, the wave, the ride. As far as South Vancouver Island surfing is concerned, this is surfer's heaven. But these three surfers, known as Ocean Jive, are here for more than just the surf. They're on a quest to rid our oceans of garbage. We call our adventure the Ocean Jive Adventure. It was a three and a half year trip around the world by sailboat uh, to explore remote cultures, uh, meet new people, and study plastic and pollution on the beaches of islands we visited. The journey started much like today. It was 2003. Two brothers, Bryson and Ryan, and their friend Hugh were hanging around a campfire at Sombrio Beach. The three guys were in their final year at UVic and were looking for an adventure. A look at our West Coast beaches got them thinking about beach litter. When we were out here, uh, we'd see all along the high tide line plastic and I had grown up sailing with my family in BC and Ryan and Bryson uh, grew up surfing so we sort of had that connection. We, we'd sailed, um, we surfed and we kind of put those two, two together and thought, of, thought about doing this journey around the world. When I heard about what they wanted to do, I told them, I hope you have a camera on board. So the idea of a film was born. They spent much of 2007 to 2010 sailing and surfing the seas, mailing tapes back to their filmmaker, Andrew, who has been eagerly working on a feature-length documentary called Tidelines. It's a very, very satisfying feeling knowing that what we've spent three years focused on is actually a very, very, very large problem out there. Today they're taping a few final scenes at Sombrio Beach with plans to release the film this summer. It's a difficult uh, film to make because there are so many other films that deal with plastics in, in the ocean and uh, on the beaches and this is just a different take and um, what they found out uh, is, is scary to say the least. During Ocean Jibes, three and a half years out at sea, they said they found every kind of garbage you can possibly imagine. But the biggest culprit, these guys right here. Water bottles are the single most common item we found everywhere around the world. Uh, hands down, more water bottles than anything else. They said it was especially alarming seeing these bottles in places with top-notch drinking water, like here in BC. We, when we came home, we found just as much here as anywhere else in the world. Uh, and in fact, if you weigh it by weight, there's often more on the beaches of the West Coast here. They noticed most of our pollution comes from old fishing debris, where other countries have a lot more wrappers and other litter from consumer culture. It's always amazing for us to, when we talk to people and get outside our immediate social circle, to find out that people don't know about the problem. They're hoping to change that, to make more people aware of the issue by bringing their documentary timelines to film festivals and to a broadcast audience. Small lifestyle changes can make a substantial difference to our oceans. From Sombrio Beach, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.